So we got the movie End of Sex, and I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late to this review. I started feeling really bad on Saturday night, Sunday. I was just shot to hell, and I was just, you know, I was really sick. Today I'm feeling a little bit better, but still not the best. So I do apologize if my mood, if my mannerisms, if I'm not the person that I used to am, but I have to get this review out there. So I'm just letting you know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm feeling better, but it's not like I, I want to be 100% again, so I can be myself. But I still want to talk about this because it's movies, romance, and it's theaters. End of Sex which is bizarre, I would die if that would happen to me, to be honest with you, is a romance comedy rom-com movie dealing with a couple whose children is away at camp for a week in the winter, but the decline of sex impacts their marriage and they're trying new techniques and strategies and go on a wild roller coaster up and down to try to bring the spark back. Now, disclaimer, some of you already know this, before YouTube, before doing this, I used to go to school to become a relationship therapist, so I was going to get my psychology degree, but I quit so I can focus on YouTube full time. I am a guy, I do like girls. If I see an attractive girl at Starbucks, Whole Foods, Target, wherever the place may be at the mall, I will go up to them, start chatting, you know, be like, hey, like, I'll try to get their number. Of course, I'm a guy, I do like girls. I know a lot of guys on the internet, especially with romance and romance movies or just romance in general. They're like, oh, I'm masculine, testosterone, blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't need girls. Like, no, to be honest, guys, I do like girls. Like, it takes two to tango. And dude, of course, I like kissing girls, doing the naughty with girls. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like, I like doing that. Like, why? I don't care. Like, this YouTube videos, I built my YouTube channel with romance in mind so hopefully that is I want you to know where I'm coming from because this is like for the rest of my life like I love romance but to be very honest with you I had low expectations going into this movie due to the rotten scores now they never really factor into me but I'm like oh my gosh like this is really bad like they're like really low but I did have a nice fun time with it even though the runtime is a little bit way too short for me to get invested in these characters it feels like kind of a throwaway movie perfect for streaming but I did have a nice time always in theaters but it's preferably seeing this in winter since it takes place during the holidays on the seven days which is weird because we're in may and it's raining and it's like wow so we got emily hampshire is emma which is a milf by the way i'm just like oh my gosh like i would do a lot to like be with a girl like that and then we got jonas jarek as josh i don't think i've seen them before in any major films i think they did a lot of tv series some indie films or some other films that i've never known about but i'm still happy that we get these type of casting because they're pretty good in their roles but it's just a way too short for the script gave them to be so this couple their kids go away for camp in the winter right they go away they're like oh my god let's talk about sex we can do it in every room but it's weird and kind of predictable and i'm not gonna lie to you it is kind of formulaic i mean they do have backup friends which is their movie support system which a lot of romance movie does some people like them in terms of the friendship so it gets a little bit in the weeds of like dramatic but not really too much because it still leans into heavy of the comedy they try out new techniques and strategies going to different places trying to spice up their sex life buying some lingerie inviting other people asking their friends what did they think about it but i did like for what it was I mean, I would be lying to you if I think this is amazing. No, it's a new twist, but just different enough to be like, wow, okay, that's cool. I can see that. They do touch up on some aspects of being married. Now, I've never been married for 10 years, and that's how much married they've been in. I feel like I've only been in a relationship for like two to three years, but even then, I'm like, damn, like you have a beautiful MILF that you come home to every day, and like you can't think of, I mean, of course, let's be honest. I'm more of a, how do I say this? Like, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm a horny, like, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry to be honest, but that's who I am. And so I would always be thinking, 50 shades. What can I do differently? Can I do cosplay? Like that's that's just me. That's just me. That's the type of guy that I am. But I get it. You have kids, you have work, it's a little bit different. But you do see both aspects of the movie, the husband and the wife, and what they're trying to accomplish to trying to bring their spark back. And the roller coaster that they go on is pretty amusing and funny. They encounter some characters in the past that they never would have thought of going into this journey of trying new things, going to different places. But it's mostly of the romance of between the first two of the couple that try to navigate their sex life with their marriage before the children come back they're trying to like get the spark in like seven days before the children come back so it is more comedic than anything but there is still a lot of heartful moments that i did like but the movie is way too short and it just dampers on the experience for me because it's so hard i'm telling you romance movies i get it you know they like to make it short smaller budget and they might do well in streaming but at the end of the day like you need to make me care about these characters and yeah i mean it's okay but there is a lot of comedic moments with the main characters overall if you like romance if you like movies you'll like this movie as well it doesn't really go deeper unless like the fundamentals of like the comedic stuff i mean yeah there's some heartful moments and there's climaxes and there's like screaming and stuff and like oh my gosh like i can't believe he said that she said that but it's just way too short but it is a self-contained movie a lot of people will probably like streaming but i always watch movies in the theaters i want to give this an overall d plus i did have fun time with it if you made it this far i appreciate you so much maybe consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications so you never miss a video with that take care bye